Seriously, this is just happening right now. Kirsty, do you want a picture next to the Coliseum? No, no. Do you want a picture next to that? No, 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 no. Do you want a picture next to this, this Roman statue? No, no, no. But this, she really wants a picture of. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, I've basically been taking a little bit of a break um, from YouTube and making videos purely because my anxiety. So basically I have travel anxiety and um, sometimes my anxiety gets too bad that I can't travel. So at the moment I'm not travelling but I am today. But I am planning lots of, um, of travel adventures for next year so next year is going to be absolutely amazing. So just thought I'd give myself a little bit of a break so I could make better content and not and just look after myself basically. Today I'm at the airport. It um, doesn't look like I'm at the airport because I found the quietest part of the airport to do this because <laughs> it's really busy here today. I am um, on my way to Rome. Um, so I won um, a holiday with Isoli Holidays. Um, this is not sponsored by them. I literally just won this through a Twitter campaign that they did and they picked me and now I'm on my way to Rome. So I'm really, really excited. Um, so it's only, it's only two days, so it's not going to be that bad. So part of the package of the competition was um, two nights away in Rome and a four-star hotel. So no hostels in this vlog. I'm so excited. <laughs> An actual proper bed. And I also get to take someone with me. So ooh, I, was like, ooh, I thought long and hard about this. Like, who should I take to one of the most romantic cities in the world? And I don't have a boyfriend, so I brought my little sister. Say hi. No. <laughs> She's busy doing work right now. So I chose Kirsty to come away with me because um, she deserves it a little bit, don't you? <laughs> She's studying, she's just done a master's and now she's doing a, a PhD, so hence why she's doing work at the beginning of our holiday. <laughs> we also have never been away on holiday before, abroad, ever. I think the only holiday we've ever been on is Butlands or something, Centre Parks. Yeah, not the same. So it's been nice for both of us. Don't it, May. Indeed. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Obviously she won't be talking on camera much because she's, she's quite camera shy. <laughs> so while we're waiting for our flight to board, I thought I would do my uh, the things that I'm most anxious about. So because this is an travel anxiety vlog, Kirstie doesn't, I don't think Kirstie's actually watched my videos because he's even subscribed to my videos. I'm not very tech friendly. I don't know how to subscribe to the girl who's got the iPad. <laughs> Information for passengers travelling on the run and flight are before, before we even got here, there was a few things already I was already anxious about. Um, the first one was the there was a train strike, so I was worried about actually getting here in the first place. <laughs> but we got here on time. There was a massive queue wait for tickets at Stansted, the Stansted Airport, the Stansted Express. Don't know why I don't can't couldn't remember that. I used to work here in this airport and I've been stressing out that I was going to see my boss, my old boss. That wouldn't have been a very nice chat. <laughs> the other thing I was worried about was hand luggage because I've never done hand luggage only. You have. Many, many times. Many, many times. Guess it's actually probably a better traveller than me. Well, sort of. Because <laughs> uh, Kirsty's actually done... Um, different travellers. We're, we're very different very different travellers because I used to, Kirsty's done the whole backpacking to Thailand which you loved with no plan, don't know where I'm going next day, don't know where I'm staying, makes one very anxious can't do that <laughs> where are you sleeping Kirsty? Park bench no, she never done told that us that, she never told us that though until she got back <laughs> she's also done the Euro, Euro rail interrail interrail, interrailing so she's a lot more experienced on the whole backpacking stuff than I am um, whereas I'm, but she's done that all with friends whereas I do lots of solo travel as well so we're very different travellers but the other thing I was worried about what was it? it was Kirsty not doing her job she was given one job for this holiday and um, <laughs> she didn't do it what was your job? your only job for this trip? to organise <laughs> to organise what we were going to do at the, on our trip very much you get there, sort it out there and kind of personal. I'm not, I'm a very planner sort of person. <laughs> right, 
place for me. Asia's the place for you. America is the place for me. Itinerary! Kirstie's job was to plan what we were going to do, so like passes and sort of stuff like that. But decided, she decided to wing it instead. Yeah, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to wing it. What am I anxious about for the rest of this trip? Firstly, Ryanair. Pretty much because of everything in the news lately, like cancelling flights. Um, they cancelled a hell of a lot of flights. There was a lot of, um, a lot of people waiting here for a while. Um, at this particular airport as well, um, a couple of months ago, it was in the news, and just the airline in general. I'm not a budget budget airline person. You are. You love your budget airline person. I, mean, I don't love it. I do it for the cost. <laughs> I like my airlines, so I'm not anxious about what I'm doing, um, and that I know I have a tea and some entertainment and some free alcohol. But no. Um, Ryanair is not like that. Um, Ryanair is very um, chaotic, which is not great for my anxiety, but the flights were included in this package, so I just have to suck it up. And also you get your, on normal airlines, you get your flights booked in advance. Uh, this airline, Ryanair, wanted me to pay £10 per ticket for us to sit together. <laughs> so we're not sitting together, are we, mate? <laughs> no, because that would have been £10 extra and I'm a student. So. <laughs> and I'm just cheap. <laughs> I just do not think you should pay £10 for your seat. Especially when you're checking in 24 hours beforehand like any other airline. You should be able to pick wherever you want to sit. And you should be able to sit together if you bought tickets together. I just think it's stupid. So we're not sitting together. So if you see us later, <laughs> it's not that we don't like each other. It's because we're cheap. We've got a free holiday. We're trying to make this as cheap as possible. <laughs> the second thing I'm worried about is crowds. Obviously because of my anxiety, I don't really like crowded places and Rome is very notorious for that. I chose specifically Rome, um, specifically October to go to Rome because it's going to be quieter and less touristy and uh, we're going to go and try and hit the Colosseum in the morning, aren't we, May? Yeah. Less people. Third thing I'm worried about is the hotel. Purely, it's supposed to be a four-star hotel but because we've not booked it ourselves and it's a part of the prize and it's a part of a free trip, we are quite, it, it might, it, hopefully it's gonna be exactly what it says on the tin. I've seen a couple of photos, but you just never know when you don't book it yourself. So hopefully the hotel will be lovely <laughs> and breakfast is included. So that's always a bonus. Oh yeah. And the last thing I'm worried about is um, getting into the Colosseum. Because apparently the, the queues are supposed to be pretty long. And even though I'm British, I don't really like queues. I can do queues, because I'm British, but I don't really like them. I'm very impatient. So hopefully we can um, try and skip the queues and um, get passes somehow, so I don't have to worry about... Just, uh, just people just have no personal boundaries in queues, especially in Europe. It just makes me feel really uncomfortable. Especially in Europe. Especially in Europe. You have not been to Asia, my friend. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're really excited, aren't we May? Excited! So yeah, um, we'll see you in Rome. Cue travel montage. <laughs> Era. The only thing that's wrong with this room is only one pillow each. Guess who was sick on the way to the hotel? This girl. This girl right here. I've never experienced such bad... I can't even say it's his... The, the driver's bad driving. I think it's just a cultural thing because I've never seen anything like it. Like, I get really bad travel sick and it's... It was pretty bad. <laughs> like the, obviously there's windy roads and stuff, but the speed he was going at <laughs> and the risks he took. To be fair, I think being on your phone is also pretty bad. <laughs> but I think 
it was more of a cultural thing because everyone was kind of doing it. Like Morocco was pretty bad, but that that was like instant. We were in the, it took about an hour and a half to get from the airport to here. And um, yeah, I literally, it, it literally happened just before we arrived. I don't think you realized. <laughs> Stealthy sick, <laughs> but not a great start. Um, but we have arrived at our hotel. I'll just show you around. So we've now like obviously just thrown all our <laughs> luggage and stuff around the place, but we've got two twin beds. We didn't before. We actually arrived here and they gave us um, a double bed. Are you not gonna be happy? Don't you dare. Double bed. No, we're going back to the desk. <laughs> no, we're not doing this. Kirsty isn't the best person to sleep with. <laughs> I was actually at her house last weekend and we um, shared about last weekend and you weren't great, were you, May? Good luck, future husband. <laughs> Literally kicked me and hit me in the face. Um, so yeah, I was like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> so we went back to the desk and uh, uh, asked for twin beds, so they nicely upgraded us. So we're now in this nice swish apartment. We've got a table, we've got a kitchen area. We've actually got, what was it, a dishwasher in there? Yeah. Oh, we've got a nice fridge. Dishwasher. <laughs> Lot of nice lo um, luggage storage space. I've literally just thrown all my stuff on there. And um, we've hanged up our clothes and we've actually realized that we're both into jumpsuits a lot at the moment. We've got a lovely shower. Um, I don't understand this toilet situation. What is this, Kirsty? It's a, well, what's it called? You wash your bum in it. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, the makeup station's happening. Um, I've just literally just brushed my teeth to <laughs> sort myself out um, and drew my eyebrows on because, you know, it's desperate. Are you ready? Yes. We're gonna go out and find something to eat because I'm starving now. And then we're gonna plot and plan our adventures for tomorrow. So we're thinking Colosseum, um, the fountain, where you throw your penny in. Don't know what's called. And the Lizzie McGuire fountain. The which one? The Lizzie McGuire fountain. The Lizzie McGuire fountain. <laughs> I thought you were going for the actual name, but nope, she's gone for the film reference. And then we might try and figure out how to do the Vatican as well because apparently you need your passports so maybe come back here pick up passports we're right next door to the Vatican so not the Venetian like I've been saying for like a week the Venetian let's go and find some food eh this is our hotel where is the restaurant we're going to right there <laughs> Kirstie's just literally just said, I'm the star. I'm totes behind the camera person. Food. I'm so hungry now. last night didn't you May? oh yes My beautiful <laughs> where is it hold on i'll be back <laughs> i actually got proposed to by some uh, guy at our, at our restaurant last night don't be jealous <laughs> you're plastic <laughs> bling <laughs> we had a very nice meal last night um i had pasta because he had pizza um and then we had desserts to treat ourselves I actually made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't feel that hungry. I didn't really eat that much, but um, after yesterday's shenanigans with the transfer, but yeah, it was all right. We we're up early. This is honestly the earliest I've been up in like a year. <laughs> Not for Kirsty though, because she works in medicine. <laughs> um, and we're off to go and explore Rome today. Uh, this is our only free day, so tomorrow we'll be up and then straight to the airport, so we're gonna go off and explore. Kirsty, what's on the itinerary? Oh, cranky. Um, Colosseum. Colosseum. Um, I can't pronounce it to my accent. Um, the Fountain Trivia. The Lizzie McGuire Fountain. Yes, yeah, that was. There's a lot of subway sandwiches on the actual map, <laughs> like they're a tourist attraction. The Pantheon. The Pantheon? 
And then we're going up to Vatican City where it's all popping off. Popping off? Next to the nightlife section. Apparently. <laughs> well, I don't think the Pope's like that. <laughs> oh, we're off out. And it's the weather is thunder, lightning, and a lot of rain. <laughs> We've picked the right weekend to come. Oh, wow! So we've just decided to join a tour group. Um, so it, basically we can get in quicker. <laughs> um, with a tour group you can get in straight away, but if you want to go in on your own, you have to wait maybe two hours in line and it's raining, so. And we're only here for the day, so I want to kind of use our time as much as we can. Um, but, oh my god, <laughs> we're just going to take some few photos outside the Colosseum now before we go in. And, oh my god, it's huge! You know when you're somewhere fancy? When the water fountain looks like this, and they're offering still all sparkling! Coliseum. I think we're in there for about two hours. Got in with the group straight away and everyone else was left out in the rain for about an hour and a half because they stopped letting people in because the rain was slowing people down in the security line. So uh, yeah, the group wasn't great because <laughs> they got me out in the rain. The tour guide was really knowledgeable. She was quite funny, <laughs> bless her. Um, but you couldn't really pick it up on this because we had like ear pieces in so we could hear her properly because it's quite noisy in there. So that was good. We've just finished the Colosseum now. We had the option with the group to go see that as well. Um, but I'm quite hungry. So <laughs> I think we're going to go and have some lunch and um, go to see Lizzie McGuire's fountain. Yes? Okay, she's got a map out. <laughs> Seriously, this is just happening right now. Kirsty, do you want a picture next to the Coliseum? No, no. Do you want a picture next to that? No, 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 no. Do you want a picture next to this, this Roman statue? No, no, no. But this, she really wants a picture of. You're nuts. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> That wasn't the fountain, there's another fountain, there's a lot of fountains. What's it called? Piazza <laughs> Miglanada.
We are on our way into the Vatican City. Not Venetian. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's me, our passports. We've just been trying to remember who the Pope is. Excuse me! I can't! Who is it? It ends at the 16th, I think. 16th, so specific. But yeah, we're going to go into Vatican City, check this out, take some more photos. It wasn't that hard to get here actually, like the metro is pretty damn simple. Some of us have better metro game than others. <laughs> but I do live in, I do live in London, so <laughs> once you crack London's underground, you can crack anywhere in Europe. <laughs> Kirsty, we're standing where Tom Hanks stood. Look at this queue, it goes all the way around there. All over there, past Kirsty, all the way down there, around there, and to the back, and then goes around a bit more. Oh my days, what do you want to do? <laughs> Desk job. Oh my day, my feet really hurt. Oh my god, it's horrendous. <laughs> service, never mind if it's like a Saturday or not. <laughs> Good morning. Um, last night I literally just went straight to sleep. Um, I was absolutely knackered, so um, <laughs> I'm just going to round up the vlog now. We're on. We're just about to go and get our transfers back to the airport. Um, it's been a pretty good um, weekend away, hasn't it, Kirsty? Yeah. She, she doesn't want to be on camera today. <laughs> we're both very, very tired. Yeah, thank you for Ice Lolly Holidays for picking me as your competition winner. <laughs> um, I'm obviously going to put some um, blog posts up on my, um, on my website um, as soon as I can, as well as this will be edited as soon as possible as well. What was your highlight, May? Oh, bloody hell. At the fountain. The fountain. Kirsty loved her Lizzie McGuire moment, moment at the fountain. That was her highlight. <laughs> I obviously love the film aspects um, of the tour. So like the Colosseum where Gladiator um, was based off, not filmed, but based off of. Vatican, oh, Vatican City where um, Angels and Demons was filmed as well, where Tom Hanks has been standing. So yeah, I was um, very, I'm chuffed about that. If you like this um, video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore.